Hello everyone. So my hissing roaches decided to go ahead and breed them and you can see they're already getting little babies. So I wanted to put them into a bigger tank where I could kind of display them. So this is the arrangement I have. Um, whoops. You can kind of see this skull is actually stuffed with the egg crates so they can hide up in there. And then I have also got egg crate kind of incorporated into the, the decorations. It's kind of, it's not as obvious um, because I didn't really want it to just look like, you know, an insect cage with a bunch of egg crate and kind of just, you know, gross. And so um, this was kind of my solution. Um, my daughter and I are huge fans of Halloween. And so I just picked up like one of those bag of bones and then just kind of, I carved open the skull so I could hollow it out and put egg, stuff egg crate in there. And then, um, you know, just use some of the pieces that I really liked and it gives plenty of hiding places and it just looks wicked cool when you see the adults like crawling around. Um, I mean, it's it's not as impressive when you're looking at a little baby one. You can see the little baby right there. Um, but it's pretty dang impressive when you see like the giant hissing roaches like crawling around on the skull. Um, and this makes it just just a little cooler. So it's not so, I don't know, it doesn't look like some cricket farm or something it actually looks pretty wicked so my daughter is super super excited about it she thinks it looks so cool and she's constantly wanting to pull the hissing roaches out now and play with them <laughs> I mean she was before because she loves the sound they make she thinks they're just adorable um which they really don't hiss as much as they used to but um they're they're pretty cool she likes them oh this is, I have to show you this. So you have to actually, with hissing cockroaches, you they can climb glass, The all of them can. So you have to put a bar barrier around um, the edge to keep them from going across. This is just Vaseline. Um, and you have to have this barrier because if you don't, your babies will get out and they will die. They These guys absolutely cannot survive um, outside of their controlled environment. So if they get out, they will die. You will not have hissing roaches running around your house. They will die. But I mean, we don't want them to die because they're pets, right? So here's what you have to do. You have to put Vaseline around the edge at the top and it looks horrible. It's not pretty, but it's necessary. So you can see does not want to cross that Vaseline. He really can't cross it. He's going to fall here in a second, trying to go over it. He's going to just slip and fall down. I've watched him do this just to kind of make sure that they stay in their little cage. So, but here is our new, here is our new Vivarian. Vivarian? Oh my gosh. You know what? I should know how to say this. I'm a freaking author. I write books. Words are my life. <laughs> How do you say that? Vivarium? It doesn't sound right. Okay, well, you guys get what I'm trying to say. It's not really alive. It doesn't really have live plants or anything, but like, I think I'm going to incorporate some. I'm going to probably get some hen and chicks or something that, um, or, oh, you know what? I'm going to put some olive vera in here because it looks just, it's really cool. And if they eat it, it's not going to hurt them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plant some olive vera. I'll just put like some olive vera back here in the back and maybe um, over here on this side kind of I'll scoot stuff over. I don't know. I'll figure it out but it'll look so cool when it's done. So anyhow thanks for watching. I'm really excited to show it to you. I wish I could get one of the big guys to come out through the eyes because it is so cool when they do but you know they're not going to show off just because I want them to but there's our new hissing roach tank.